Hello and welcome to BOI Weekly. Bank of Industries intervention in the light manufacturing sector of aluminum production extends the Skiff Alu Steel Company Limited, an aluminum roofing sheet production company located along the Oka Onicha Highway. By helping Skiff Alu Steel Company to finance the acquisition of key plant and machinery, the company has expanded its operations and is now able to support more housing and other construction projects in the southeast of the country, providing jobs and contributing to development in the region. I am Kaya De Alayade. Welcome to the program. Real estate development is considered one of the best investment vehicles in the world. And there's quite a number of factors supporting this position. There is finite supply of land, properties steadily increase in value, and more importantly, housing is one of the basic needs of man. With a population of roughly 200 million in Nigeria and growth rate of 3.5 million per annum, the country still needs between 16 to 20 million housing units. This suggests that some 16 million houses would need to be roofed, and that goes for other subsectors that support the housing industry. Clearly, there's some value to be created and money to be made. The Bank of Industry is always keen to mine the gaps, and there is always a gap in the market, and markets in the gap. That's why BOI is supporting the roofing industry as well as others contributing to the housing sector all over the country. Skiff Alu Steel Company Limited is one of the key promoters and manufacturers of aluminum roofing sheets in the southeastern region of the country. With a 167 million naira investment in Skiff Alu for the acquisition of key plant and machinery, the Bank of Industry helps the company to expand its operations. Situated along the Onicha Oka Highway, Skiff Alu Steel Company is strategically positioned to provide support for housing and other development projects in the southeast, helping to shrink the housing deficit in the region. What's more, it's a woman Alu in charge Steel here at Skiff Alu. Skiff Alu Steel is an aluminium and steel company limited. As we go into the fabrication of aluminium roofing tiles and uh, steel products like windows, doors and burglar proofs. In the aluminium section, we have different materials like the, the different, of di different gauges, which is highly recommended by the Standard Organization of Nigeria. We have the 0 0.40 gauge, the 0 0.45 gauge, the 5055 and so on. You know, our products are mainly oven baked material. It is oven baked so that it will stand the test of time. It will not be, it's shielded against corrosion, you know, getting rusted. So we, we give the best quality of material, they can stand the test of time. It doesn't fade. The color coating is oven baked, like I said earlier, so that it will not fade. It doesn't fade, it doesn't wash away. Now we have different types of machines with regards to the aluminium industry. The, the type and design invoke at the moment. We have the conventional design, which is the regular, you know, they call it regular design because it has been invoked over time before the different designs start coming up. So we have the conventional design and we have a machine that is meant for that. Uh, a roll former machine that forms the coil into shape. And uh, with the coverage of the machine for the uh, regular design is one meter coverage, which have double lapping at each end to protect against rain. 
Skiff Alu Steel Company is not a newbie in the roofing business and the quality of products it churns out ensures that its distribution base continues to expand. The business model here is to produce roofing sheets on demand and on a regular basis the company produces a minimum of 1,000 meters of roofing sheets every day. Even though the COVID-19 pandemic has slowed demand in the last six months, the company is grateful to have survived the scare. The fear of how to continue these staff under you that are looking forward to their salary at the end of the month, how do you carry them? How do you, do you, do you delay them off? You know, it was not really easy on us. It was really tough. And uh, at a time, as if, honestly, I was, so many things ran through my mind. Should I just let these people go when everything is all over, if I can call them back? And on the second part, they are all humans. If I just lead them off like that, how would they survive equally the, the pandemic period? So do I run on half, do I cut down on the, on the salary? Or should I continue? You know, it was not very easy. But then, you know, when you have some dedicated and loyal staff, you also will not want to let them go. You also, you just like feeling, putting yourself in their, in, their, in their position. So, but we were able to carry on, you know, the lockdown before it came down completely to Anambra State, there were two weeks closed, two weeks open. So within those periods, sometimes we have, we have accumulation of orders from our customers. Madam, what is happening? Are you, are you going to sell to us? I say, you see what is happening generally. If there will be any how the, 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 the lockdown will ease off, we will come to attend to you. So what I did was just keep your phones around my staff so that anybody I call, we can come up and then, you know, make our supply. And it works out. Mrs. Virgie Owaso also touches on the unique gaps her company is out to fill in the building industry, as well as the challenges bedeviling the sector. You know, the aluminium industry is uh, like uh, incorporated in the building industry. It's a part of the building industry. And it's something that is done day in, day out, year in, year out. People grow, they build. And after building without the rooftop, without the roofing, it's, it's, it's not complete. Should we have steady supply of power, you know, it will go a long way. It will, it will also bring about a little drop in the cost of production. And when the cost of production, you know, our cost of overheads will run down, will, will be minimized. But you see, every, every overhead you incurred in the cost of production falls back to the raw material because they are also servicing each other. So we have that as a major challenge. And, uh, you know, sometimes, I don't know if they are, they are um, authorized bodies or just individuals that will group up and come as authorized body. You have to pay this tax, pay this revenue, pay this and that. Every now and then you are, you are being charged for this or for that. If it is not environmental, it is this or the other. So we are always, you know, faced with such challenges too. You know, one, body, one group of individuals will come with a name, either from the state or from the federal government, as in you are supposed to pay this. You have to do it because you need compliance in the business. So that is part of the challenges we are faced with. People seek help for different purposes and in different places. But for Skiff Alu Steel Company, single-digit interest rates was enough reason to pitch their tent with the bank of industry. And she is glad to share the experience and the positive impact that came with. When you go to all these uh, banks, yes, they will offer you. But sometimes, you know, the rate of interest will be such that um, if you are not careful, you may be out of business in, <laughs> in, the, in the process to acquire loan and then service it. So the information about Bank of Industry came up. We hear about them, we read about them, we over the tellies and we see how they help people, you know. So we decided to give it a try. Along the line, it has been, it's not something that ended in a day. It took a while, you know. You know, and most of the times, why you see that sometimes 
there will be delay or it will look as if one gets frustrated or back out along the line is when there is when you are not adequately informed or possibly you got the information shabbily you know so you uh, you work with the little you know and peradventure it didn't work you may come into conclusion that this thing is a scam maybe they don't operate they don't exist because they will be very sure you are not a scammer <laughs> they will be very sure you are equally into what you say you are doing and you are going to use the money judiciously so after their verifications and all what we found ourselves lucky among those uh, to be granted the loan and i want to tell you it is a partnership that is worth going into. We are enjoying what we have, what we have so far gone into with them. They kept their parts. And by the grace of God, we are equally trying our own. It's a loan we are servicing. And we are trying our best, cutting some excesses, making sure that we are not defaulting. There are not so many women in the sector. For Mrs. Owaso, it's been an interesting ride. A client came in and it was a big project. So he felt that, no, this woman cannot handle it. I needed the man. And the MD is not on seat. Who will have been the best hand to handle it? So I referred him to the nurse in, in a, a, the manager. After discussing and discussing with the manager, he, he went away. So I was thinking it was a concluded deal. So when I did not get to hear from him, I called. He said, Madam, no, I know they do business with women. I said, give me a try. You don't do business, but this is a woman with a difference. Why not let's do it? You know, sometimes when they come in and say, Madam, we want to talk with men. I say, yes, I'm the man in charge. What do you want? <laughs> so eventually he, he had the second thought to have called him confidently and then spoke with him the way I did. He came and even, it later worked. But if I had not taken the step of calling him back, I wouldn't know that it was my gender that uh, put him away from continuing the business. So sometimes it's like that, you know, when they come to the office because they, in the operations, in the operations we, we field the men. Then in the office work, the calculation, the paperwork and the writing down of everything, the female handled that. So when they just come in there, ah, this one is only female affair. So uh, it will not work. I said, don't worry, tell us what you want and you see it work. Daily, the doors of Skiff Alu Company are open to off-takers from far and near. These include marketers, builders, and even developers. Clarkson John is a marketer and installer of roofing sheets who's been doing business with Skiff Alu Company for more than 10 years. And here he speaks highly of the quality of products and services available at the company. I've been using Skiff products for like 10 years now. I'm into it and the quality is good. It has a good material. In fact, it's one of the good material I've seen down here in the East. Unlike others, they have one-sided lapping in the roofing pattern. But in Skiff industry, it's machines. They have two lapping sides in which anywhere can face and it will be okay. Mr. Monday Ojigada manages the Bank of Industries operation in Anambra State. He explains the Bank of Industries' interest at Skiff Alu Steel Company. Skiff Alu Steel is, uh, is into uh, al al aluminum roofing sheets. Uh, we actually funded them three years ago, they came, they applied three years ago. The, 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 reason, the reason why we actually took in, interest in that project is because of the housing deficit in, in, in Nigeria. As at last year, 2019, from what we read from st statistics, about 19, sorry, 70 million housing de 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 deficit in Nigeria. From an, in our number here, from the, the books we've read in number, the researches we've, 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 we've done, Number has about 20, 20 to 30,000 30, units of uh, housing deficit. So there's only room. There's room for. I know aluminium roofing is a very key, key, uh, key product that you, that you need for housing. So that's actually that's, that's actually gave rise to the. But that's actually sort of what aroused our, our interest 
in, 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 in their project. And so far, our relationship has been very, very good with the com company. We've not had any issues, uh, hitch in terms of repayment. They've, they've been up, up, up to date. And in fact, that industry in Anambra State, let me, let me leave my description to Anambra State. That industry in Anambra State, we've actually done a, a couple of them. We have about five of, of such accounts with us. The value in, 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 in terms of loan amount should be up to 700 million naira, slightly above 700 million naira. And, and, and these pro pro projects always come, you know, asking for expansion because, like, like I said earlier, there's, there's room for, for more house, housing units in, in Nigeria. Another reason why we actually took in, in, interest in that pro project is because of ob urbanization. You know, Oka is the head, headquarters, I mean, the, the, the state capital of Anambra State. And there is influx of, of people from you know around coming to Oka. So and of course the po 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 population is growing too in Nigeria. You know, beds, food beds, and, and all that population is growing. So there's there's always room for more house 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 housing units. And, and we observe that people were going to Onisha. People actually go to Onisha. Some people go as far as uh, to, to buy these sheets. So when the, when this company came and the company is is is, is one of the pioneers of such companies in in this town so that actually sort of made us took interest in the com com company we saw we saw that their business plan business mod mod model and, and all that so we we took interest in it and we funded fund, funded it and I, and I want to say that we, 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 we don't have, have any regret at all from funding that company and of course such other com 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 companies because the value chain this housing value chain you know is very and from those that are into even nails, those that are into nails, the PVC profiles and all that, those that will have here, they are, they are doing very, very, very well. The Bank of Industry supports a wide variety of businesses across different sectors in the Southeast. The regional manager, Mr. Obaro Sa, talks about the bank's operations and performance in the region despite the pandemic. Skiff Aluminium is one of our customers in Anambra State Office. They are into uh, production of aluminum roofing sheets of different types. Uh, and that falls under the category of what we refer to as light manufacturing plants or operations in, in the Southeast. So we supported them between about uh, one six seven million naira to enable them to expand their operation. And um, uh, their market, basically southeast, uh, but it runs across part of Delta, Anambra, uh, Imo, uh, Abia State, up to Eboni. In some cases, up to Benue State. Uh, so they've been in business for a while until we came to help them to expand their capacity of uh, uh, production and sales, and of course revenue, and also employ more people in the southeast. Our intervention is to provide, uh, uh, we bought them equipment and we also bought them raw materials, aluminum coils. Uh, the raw material is used in the production of uh, uh, roofing sheets. Then the machinery is to enable them to expand their capacity to do more business. So in terms of impact, with what we've done, they've it's created a good opportunity to expand and do more business. So volume of revenue, volume of sales increased. It also helped them to employ more people in the southeast. So their distributors who ordinarily will not have items to sell because of what we've done. They can actually generate more revenue, generate more businesses and sell more. So I think we made an impact in acting as a catalyst to expand their scale of operation and business. The linkage business is part of BOI's uh, mandate. Uh, and you link either the micro to SMEs or you link with SMEs to a large corporates. Now, for SCIF, we've there are a lot of linkages between the retail traders, uh, people in commerce, and people in also in the building sector. Because roofing sheet basically is used of people who are into buildings, you know, people building factories, people building resident houses, people building schools. So there's linkage between those people involved in that process and what they are doing. So they buy their coils locally. And of course, they help these traders who are selling those coins. And of course, their output is used by people in different industries who are into building that involves roofing activities. 
which can be schools, it can be churches, it can be factories, it can be residential buildings, it can be commercial buildings across the entire southeast and part of south south of Nigeria. Mr. Obarasa also touches on how the bank was able to manage its risk assets and help its customers during the pandemic. Well, this year is actually a special year, but, but, but the beauty for us in the south is that we did so much work in 2019. Okay, so by the time the COVID started around March 2020, you know, the approvals we got last year, we were able to convert some of them to disbursement. So even though it's a pandemic year, but we are able to also make some impact within this period on that consideration because of what we did in 2019. And of course, the way our operation goes, when you get approval, it takes a while for customers to meet the pre-disbursement conditions. So some of the approval we got last year, we were able to disburse them this year, even during this uh, pandemic year. So in terms of uh, growth projection, uh, in the last four years, the South region has been a constant growth in terms of balance sheet size, in terms of profitability, in terms of risk assets, and of course in terms of customer, uh, um, uh, customer base. Okay, with with deepened involvement in existing industries and also going to new areas so that we can actually deepen the market further in the southeast. Uh, so I think that uh, yes. Pandemic affected our initial projection, but net on net, despite the pandemic, we also missed a lot of growth in the balance sheet size and profitability. The pandemic affected businesses both locally and globally. However, the impact differs depending on industry or the kind of service you are involved in. Uh, so those who were able to do well even during the pandemic Companies or businesses involved in providing health services. Companies involved in food processing, especially those involved in food processing where the raw material required for their production processes are available locally. So the lesson strictly is to focus more on Nigerian raw material based industries who do not need much of foreign exchange or they need to do at best the capacity to gain the equipment. Thereafter, they can come to sustain the operation from local resources. The Bank of Industry can and wants to be the gap between a struggling and a thriving business and the difference between a small and a large enterprise. If it's your desire to make those kind of transitions, reach out to the Bank of Industry today as you have seen others do on this program. Start by visiting any of their branches closest to you or log on to their website at boi.ng. Feel free to tweet at me at KAY Alliance for further inquiries. Now you can watch previous editions of the program on youtube.com by typing BOI Weekly in the search area. And that will be our show for today. Many thanks for watching. I'm Kaede Alayade. Bye now.